Hello, Humanoid Nation. We are going faceless today because I'm here with a special guest, the faceless wonder himself, Suspect TV. I don't have a mouth. He, indeed, he doesn't have a mouth. Uh, so me and Suspect <laughs> have done videos before on gaming videos a lot, like, whatever, what have we done? <laughs> I kind of forgot. <laughs> Mostly Jackbox. There's um, a couple of videos that are gonna be on my channel when I actually start uploading again. Yeah. Uh, I know one of them's Among Us. One of them's uh, like uh, we did Scott Pilgrim, which is already on the channel, but uh, that's gonna lead into uh, TMNT Shredder's Revenge, mm -hmm. which you know I'll eventually upload that. Yeah, and he has his own tier list coming up soon too, because he's gonna do the Jackbox tier list. But that's going to take a while because he likes to get things done with that. I don't know what that means. Yeah, and but... so we, we thought, we thought what, what's, what's another thing we have in common? And uh, uh, horrible movies is, is uh, one thing we, we seem to be uh, very keen about. And yeah. <laughs> who better to start off than uh, Adam Sandler? Yeah, let's start out with Adam Sandler. So the tier list is... We have his classic movies. There are quite a few that are classic. And then we got the second tier, which is watchable, which you can watch, and it's okay, but not a classic. And then there's meh. You don't have anything to think about it. It was, it was not good or bad. It was just meh. And then we got complete dumpster fire, which, you know, is just trash. And then we got a good old Jack and Jill, because that deserves its own category. Of burning in eternity. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, I think that there's like now that I'm looking at the movies, not all of them are Adam Sandler movies. They're like like the Happy Madison or well, whatever him, it's called. Adam Sandler being in films, most likely. Uh, it's like him in probably films. him in films, like his main films and the movies he's been in too, For starring other people like his friends. Yeah. So, so yeah. I, I think um trying to figure out which is the best. Actually no, we'll we'll, we'll just go from uh order of what we see right there. All right. So the first one, it's not like in like not in order cuz like the, 51st date is the yeah. first one. Uh I yeah. I enjoyed this movie really great cuz it's the second movie yeah. Alexander and Drew Barrymore did. They have great chemistry with each other. And it's yeah, a funny I, movie. I, I cannot tell if I would put it in classic or watchable because it's more than watchable, but I don't know if it's classic. But I'd be okay with putting in either of those tiers. Because uh, yeah, I think it would be mostly a classic. Cause like, I don't know, it's just a really I can watch this film over and over and never get get tired of yeah. laughing. Yeah, one of my one of my favorite moments, like one of my favorite Adam Sandler moments. Is when he's just like on the boat and he's just like singing, Wouldn't it be nice <laughs> if we were older? And he's all crying. <laughs> he's like, Why would this son of a bitch do this to me? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if we were older? Okay, let's not get copyrighted. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very true. But yeah, we have some. Sean Astin is in this from like Lord of the Rings. He plays like a roid got infested dude. It's really funny. Uh, my goodness. Was, my goodness. Uh, yeah, but do you have anything else to say about 50 First Dates? Except, um, well, I mean, it, was, it had an interesting concept. Uh, 10 Second like, Tom. I don't... We can't forget about 10 Second Tom. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, and I don't, I don't think there was much wrong with it. Like, if anything, I don't know. Like I, I, I don't know. You could probably just cut out all of my freaking <laughs> <laughs> just little, like not saying anything right now. Right. Anyways, right. Okay. Uh, Airheads I have not watched. Airheads is like almost one of his first movies he's made. Wait, hold on. Let me look it up. Not sure. He was still part of Saturday Night Live when he did this, so kind of his first starring role. When he uh, was doing a Brendan Fraser and Steve Buscemi, where they uh, hijack a radio station by accident, and they become like terrorists by accident, and it's pretty hilarious from what I saw. It's like a good classic 1994 movie. 
Oh wait, not classic. I would say it's watchable. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, since I'm like any any true uh, Moist Critical fan would uh, know Brendan Fraser for his hit movie The Mummy, and uh, <laughs> uh, so therefore any movie with Brendan Fraser cannot be any less than watchable. It was a time where Brendan Fraser was actual watch actually watchable. Then The Mummy happened, and then The Mummy Two happened, and then The Mummy Three. But hey, Brendan Fraser is getting all classics. But hey, Brendan, Fra <laughs> Brendan Fraser is getting his career back. He's been in uh, what's that TV show called? Tit not Titans, Doom Patrol. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All right, we're yeah, talking enough about Brendan Fraser. <laughs> All right. So the next there's movie. never too much talk about ang uh to there's never too much talk about Brendan Fraser, but uh anger management. I would say this. Is I first. don't remember watching. I I I but like it seems like the type of movie that Adam Sandler would make. Like like uh not quite fifty fifty first dates, but not and it, it's like it's like a uh, Big Daddy, which you know we, we, you see that we're gonna talk about. Yeah. Like, uh, like it's not quite that uh, way, but you can imagine Adam Sandler in a movie called Anger Management. Yeah. Like, it just fits. And I think this is his first movie where, like, he actually got an A-list star to be in this before he started getting the big stars in his movies. Like, how the hell did you get Jack Nicholson in this in his time of his career at this time? I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just surprised he got Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Um. So, would you would you say it's meh or watchable? Because I would say watchable. Yeah, I would say watchable too. There's some good moments here and there. Uh, yeah. And like we also got uh, John Turturro in it, like being uh, what's it called, what's it called like having Vietnam flashback over a two day war that happened when he was in the war. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I I think uh. You know, you know when 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 you think of an Adam Sandler tier list, you don't think of uh, the first three movies as being classics and watchable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is a good tier list so far. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next we got bedtime story. I watched this. I don't remember any of this. I was about to say the exact same thing. I think we have to put it in meh. Only because oh, the only thing I remember is that like he would tell his kids bedtime stories, and it would basically become true. It's basically click, if uh, if if you don't, <laughs> yeah. if part of the, the if part of the bedtime story was that the audience would forget that the movie would exist. Yeah, I remember that Courtney Cox was in it and uh, Russell Brand, and that's it. That makes one of us. That's all I can remember from that movie. All right, so moving on, <laughs> Big Daddy. I would say that Big Daddy is, uh, well, I mean, we're, we'll, we'll probably prove me wrong here, but I think that Big Daddy is probably the best Adam Sandler movie. Oh, yeah, I enjoyed it, like, very much back in the day, like, except they had, like, a whole, when he started whoring out with his product placement with McDonald's, like, but it was a funny way of doing it. But nowadays, he just yeah, puts Yeah, I anything. mean, like, it... It didn't even seem like uh, a product placement. It just seemed like uh, it just seemed like a, a, a uh, you know how stand-up comedians will use like make fun of something for like right. three minutes. Right. That's kind of how it felt like it was. It's like what you guys, you guys are, are uh, used to do it till till this time, and now you don't. Like like you know what's up with that? You know, kind of kind of seemed like a little comedy bit. Yeah. And uh, considering comedy isn't the first thing you think of when you think of Adam Sandler, I think uh, it, it that just proves how good it, this movie was. It depends. <laughs> but what would you give it, like classic or watchable? Oh, classic for sure. Yeah, it's like it's some good characters, like Rob Schneider doing his uh, foreign character, which like now you look back on it, it's not really very <laughs> insensitive, but whatever, it was funny. Yeah, and then there's also Scuba Steve. There was uh, the one girl from Hooters that like uh, uh, he's all he's all at the grocery store and he's all look you guys are wearing the same shirt <laughs> and I think even on TikTok uh, I know there's this one person that I watch that uh, did this but they would actually go out and buy like uh, children's 
uh, shirts and then wear them. And then, like, because uh, cause they are kind of made the same way for adult women uh, in in the sense of, like, how they're supposed to fit. And it's hilarious. So, like, uh, honestly, Big Daddy's ahead of his time. Yeah, uh, I agree, too. Like, <laughs> you yeah. ignore that last part that I said, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was, like, when Adam Sandler was trying. Now he doesn't really try that much. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Speaking of trying. So, this next one, I don't know what it is i can't even Billy see Madison. the oh okay yeah i i remember that one that one that one's uh he plays a rich kid who has to go back to school so yeah I, I know the his... i know the premise i'm just trying to see if i like it or not because i think it was hilarious <laughs> yeah it was well, really actually, hilarious you know, like, I... don't, don't look at me swan <laughs> Or uh, the moment where uh, he he has uh, uh, he tells the wrong answer, or like he gives a big old speech about like <laughs> what the philosophy of being wrong or right is, and then uh, the guy's like, "What you just no, said? That, uh, yeah, the, what you just said has no resemblance to a correct answer. Everyone in this room is now dumber because of you. And a simple no would have been fine." I can award you no points. You know, and like, God uh, have there's, mercy there's on your good soul. jokes. I would say it's a classic. Cause basically, this was his, <laughs> like, first starring role that he did. Well, not the yeah, first starring. Yeah, if, if, like, yeah, we aren't, we aren't necessarily uh, putting, like, uh, you know how in a, a bunch of people's, people's tier list, they're ranking uh, not only the tiers, but, like, say someone would rank high in the tier or low in the tier. We're not yeah. doing that, but if we were... I'd rank uh, this one, Billy Madison, in the lowest of the classics. Yeah, like, but, but like I said, Billy Madison was his first starring, starring role that he made it big time. Yeah. Yeah. And now, uh, oh God, blended. <laughs> Remember when I said Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler had I'll great chemistry? I'll watch this one. Huh? Remember when I said Adam Sandler and uh, Drew uh -huh. Barrymore had great chemistry together? They yeah. do, but they can't make this movie work whatsoever. <laughs> you saw this one, right? Uh, no, I have not. Right. Uh, yeah, you might not want to watch it because it's complete dumpster fire. Uh, like, Alrighty he, then. <laughs> he's like whoring it out the entire movie. Like, how do we get like a cruise ship? Oh. We'll put it in the movie. We'll go on vacation on a cruise ship to go to Africa. That's the entire thing. I think that reminds me of another Adam Sandler movie, but we'll get to that. Yes. <laughs> uh, next movie is uh, Bulletproof with him and uh, Damon Wayans. I watched this one time. Bulletproof. I can't remember if it's uh -huh. good or bad. All I remember is uh, him crawling out of the because he's a fugitive and David Wayne's is a cop mm -hmm. and like they're in a cottage cottage shit cottage ca uh, cabin together and Adam Sandler's trying to like trying to run the entire time and the only thing I remember from this movie is his like soapy wet ass trying to get out the window and David Wayne puts his gun up his ass <laughs> <laughs> yeah but... I mean just for that uh, it can't be in dumpster fire I'm just kidding um uh, like I said, I don't, I don't know. It could be meh. It. It's pretty much meh because I don't remember much of it, but I enjoyed watching it. Not because of his soapy ass. Okay, it's because of his soapy ass. <laughs> <laughs> I said nothing. We're moving on. Okay. Anyways, to uh, speaking of cleansing, I'm just kidding. Cleansing. Uh, now we have click, and uh, I think this one's also a classic. Um, I would say it's watchable because like the first half is like a funny movie and then all of a sudden it gets dark and serious the second half. But Christopher Walken... Oh yeah, it's 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 a like imagine Turn imagine it. Adam Sandler having a tragic hero story. Yeah. Like uh, cause you know like he's like this character that he plays I forgot the name of him but it's, he doesn't look it up. he's he's not a bad person. Uh, he, like obviously he's uh he's just a, a dude trying to try to hard, work hard and uh would like some things to to make it easier and uh 
I think a lot of, uh, well, I mean, almost any invention is at least uh, marketed to make your life easier. And uh, when when Adam Sandler has this, where uh, it's almost an analogy of uh, consumerism, and I, I'm probably giving Adam Sandler a little too much credit, but yeah. like uh, when you see when you see like him uh, accidentally skip uh, like ten years in the future and uh, like it like it does change the movie, but it's like it. it I don't know. I, I I like it. I would I would either I'd I'd be able to put in watchable, but I'd yeah. vote for classic. Like I said, like the whole second movie just turned into a different movie. It's like it's not that bad, but it's watchable. Like I'll watch it all over again. I wouldn't say it's a classic. Okay. Okay. So the next movie is like a not. It's like okay, Adam Sandler is in it, but he does a cameo. But the movie itself, have you seen Coneheads? No, I have not. Do we? Well, let's let's figure this out right now. Do we want to like put a separate tier list of just uh, Sandler cameos? Sandler cameos? Yeah, we could do that. Uh, yeah. So it's like it's like uh, we just kind of put those in its own tier just uh, just to get rid of them. Cameo. Can't spell. Unless you do want to rank all of them. Well, like, you've seen some, right? Um, I... Let's see. I don't think I've seen any of these that are not specifically okay. him. I would say, like, cameo good or bad? Wait, good? The only... Oh, okay bad or I don't know it's <laughs> like he didn't leave an impact in this thing it's like yeah. Conan is a great movie from this sketch of the Coneheads from Saturday Night Live which has Dan Aykroyd, Lorraine Newman and Jane Curtin it's a classic sketch show sketch but Adam Sandler makes a cameo of a loan shark or a mafia type dude I can't remember so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They really leave an impact um, on me. Yeah, I wouldn't expect a movie called Coneheads to leave an impact on my life. Yeah. He was in Deuce Bigelow. The next movie, Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. What was he doing in this? I gotta look it up. Javier Sandusky? Didn't even watch this either. Yeah. I don't know. Because I don't remember anything from this god-awful movie. I like Rob Schneider, but this movie was... Oh my god. Jeez. Oh my god. Yeah, alright. So the yeah. next one is Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo, the first one. What was he in I this? did not watch this one either. <laughs> Robert Justin, and he was a voice? Okay. I don't know. I'm going with that. Like, I like this movie. It was a great movie. It was hilarious, but I can't remember him in any of it. Another one where he did a cameo, Dirty Work, Norm MacDonald's first feature-length film. It was hilarious. Have you seen this? I did not see this. Oh my god, if there's one movie you need to see, it's this one from 98, where like, Norm MacDonald and his best friend do revenge-type business, and like, Adam Sandler plays the devil in one scene, but it's hilarious. But I'm gonna go as classic because it's dirty work. It's so good. I watched it so many times. I'll add it to the list. Okay. Eight Crazy Nights. Okay, I have seen this one. What do you think? Um, I I think it's probably watchable because. Really? Yeah, I don't know if you're saying really because you want it in classic or if you want it lower. I'm, <laughs> I'm, surpri tell, but... I'm, I'm surprised you actually said watchable because I watched it one time and one time only and it was a dumpster fire for me. I, well, I mean, you remember uh, Whitey, right? Oh like, my That's god! A technical, no. foul. <laughs> technical foul! Technical foul! Like, I, it was a, it was a little funny dynamic, even though it was still Adam Sandler playing the voice. But like, it was a little funny dynamic of like, 
you know, uh, the douchey uh, character that Adam Sandler usually plays with, like, this genuine old heart man that, like, uh, like he isn't funny himself, but it's just funny the way he does things. So it's like, like, no, you got you got to feel it in your heart. He's like, oh, yeah, I really do feel it in my heart. You know, like, like that's not a line in the movie, but, you know, that's kind of the dynamic explained in a nutshell. Oh, okay. So I, 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 don't I, just, know. I was we could a... we could uh I was or just you, you go. I was just annoyed by the entire movie, especially why he the way he talks like it's like that. <laughs> well, what do you, what do you no, you're not the... doing it right. It's uh, I think uh, I think we can uh, what's it called? We can uh, what's it called? Compromise. Yeah. We can compromise and put in meh. Yeah, we could do that. Meh. Yeah, because if you put in dumpster fire, that'll be a technical foul. Technical? Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> Speaking of technical foul, funny people, what's your take on this? I have not watched this. <laughs> I've enjoyed this immensely. Mostly of how serious it was. Like, I hate that people rag on it because they say funny people is not funny. It's not supposed to be funny. It's a guy who has cancer who's a stand-up comedian and you see the dark times in him he plays this very serious role of course it's Seth Rogen and Adam Sandler in it the people were expecting laugh a minute per minute but dude he had cancer in this movie it's a dark comedy what do people n do not understand about that uh, I think cancer is pretty hilarious I'm just kidding <laughs> uh, so you said you never watched it I would say it's no I haven't watchable it actually is worth watching. Yeah. All and, right. Okay. So going overboard. Okay, is officially his first ever, ever, ever movie that he ever made. I have not watched it. <laughs> I have not. Seen it. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> but I heard. At it's this point, I'm wondering why I'm even in this video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Let's just put it in like uh, never seen it. But do you want to? Do you want to? I like how it's giving you like uh, almost um, two columns of text. <laughs> yeah, never seen it. Do you want to even? Uh, no, not even. Because like, yeah, I heard the horror stories of this and I do not want to see it. Speaking of not My to goodness. see it. Speaking of not seeing it again, Grown Ups 2! <laughs> uh, I think Dumpster Fire. Yeah, Dumpster Fire. Because, like... You're peeing in the uh, pool, Dad! I'm, I'm glad that Grown Ups 1 is uh, also here, which we can... I, I'd either put Grown Ups at Dumpster Fire or meh. Because... Yeah, Grown Ups, uh, the first one, like... I enjoyed the it. Was first a, one. It was a little better than uh, Grown Ups 2. Grown were, Ups 2. Like, I think in Grown Ups 2, they weren't even trying because like, they were half assing it. Grown Ups had, had a story. Yeah. yeah. And for some reason, Rob yeah. Schneider declined to do Grown Ups 2. I don't know why. <laughs> when the, uh, when uh, Rob as Schneider. If, as if he had. I'm just saying, when Rob Schneider decides not to do the sequel, there's something wrong there. Even though it's Rob Schneider. Yeah. I think uh, it was it was a little weird not to have them, but also uh, I'm glad you mentioned that one of these movies there you're basically paying uh, to watch uh, these two. I think it was blended to go on a cruise ship and have a vacation. That's essentially what Grown Ups One and Two are. You're just paying to see uh, Chris Rock and and, and uh, Adam friends. Sandler. Yeah. Uh, uh, basically, like, take a vacation with uh, Kevin James. Like, yeah. that's that's essentially what you're doing. So would you put this as watchable or meh for grown-ups? I would definitely put it at meh. Yeah, I would put it as meh. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but at least it's not grown-ups too. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, now we have a palate, palate cleanser, Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. What, it's classic? Uh, this one's a hard one. I, I guess I would put it classic because I don't think anyone anyone really has anything bad to say about it besides the fact that 
it reminds them of all the other bad Adam Sandler movies, but... It's all in the hips. It's all in the uh, hips. And he had yeah. Ben Stiller as, like, that crazy, uh... Oh, medic guy from the old home. It's like, oh, I give you a glass of warm shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, yeah, he's like, oh, and of course you gotta go with the subway plug. Like, sure, he's, like, selling his soul, but... It was funny the way they did it. I think movies like Happy Gilmore are the reason why he's able to do movies like Anger Management. Yeah, plus he had Bob Barker in it, so he had to fight Bob Barker from The Price is Right. You can't yeah. go wrong with that. All right. Hotel Transylvania. Speaking of going too. wrong. <laughs> Hotel Transylvania. I have not watched. I have not watched any of the Hotel Transylvania movies. Uh, except for the first one. Uh-huh. Um, mostly because I didn't care. Um, Hotel Transylvania, I don't remember any of I it. Think, I think you should probably rate the first one. I, oh, man, there's like three of them. Yeah. Oh, crap. All right, well, that's obviously two. I'm pretty sure I'm the one in the one. middle is the first one. Uh, I don't know whether it's watchable or meh with Hotel Transylvania 2. What happened in Oh, did Hotel... you watch it? Yeah, hold on. I need to look it up. What was the storyline here? I forgot what it was. Because in the first one, it's basically like the, the daughter uh, is like with uh, a human dude. And it's essentially just like Adam Sandler is uh, Dracula. And uh, it's like he doesn't like the dude. And... Yeah, I remember it's... the first one. I just can't remember what the storyline was for the second one. Oh, I don't remember anything in the second and third one. Oh, well, you can see the, the little kid's uh, hair at the bottom of that picture. So, oh, yeah, obviously, oh, yeah, the, the kid is born. They're trying to see if, like, the kid has vampire fangs or is just a normal human. Yeah. I would say meh. Yeah, I uh, mean, I would, I would kind of put all of them at meh. Unless Hotel we have a Hotel Transylvania expert. In uh, the uh, comments. The third one, all I remember is him falling in love with a captain of the ship. And there's like Van Helsing in this for some reason. We want to kill Oh, that's him. the first one, I think. Also, oh, I mean, like this this picture. Yeah, this one. Because I think that, that next one is the third one. Yeah, a summer vacation. Yeah. yeah. Um, Not dumpster fire. Uh, I would say watchable because of grandpa vampire and van helsing i i i don't know what do you say watchable or meh um, i'd probably go watchable okay of course i would say the first one is a classic because it's the first one in in may the other i thought two, that was the the third one this is the oh wait hold on this is the first one i i okay so i i i then I'm probably under or overestimating what I would give two and three, because uh, I think I think they should all go down one tier. Uh, which one? This one? All of them. <laughs> to meh. Like that one goes, because like I think yeah, and then two goes to dumpster fire, and then one goes to watchable. Hotel Transylvania, Dumpster Fire. Uh, yeah. That's the second one. Yeah, that looks kind of right, but okay. Yeah. Some people are going to be mad, but whatever. Hubie Halloween. Have you seen Man, this? Man, I have not watched this at all. He made this movie on purpose badly because he didn't get nominated for an oscar for uncut gems so he purposely made a movie that's so trash out of spite and just because of that i don't want to see that you want yeah, to see it i mean i don't think that's the best response uh the, the your first mistake was caring about what the oscars care <laughs> mm -hmm. um, that or it could be a just some person making that story but it w would be an Adam Sandler type thing to do, like make a movie because he didn't get nominated for Uncut Gems. Yeah. But yeah, Hustle, 
I have not seen it yet because it just came out like a week or two ago. Um, me neither. Yeah. All right. Is I that... now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Oh, I thought it was uh, something else. Um, I don't know where to put that, but I'm probably in the middle of man watchable. Yeah. Like, I get that it's like very uh, homophobic today, but it was still hilarious. I'll say it. There's a lot of anti gay jokes, which I get. It was okay, it's not okay to do them, but it's still hilarious to watch. I don't know, I'm digging myself into a hole. Uh. <laughs> But I say it's That's... watchable because, yeah, yeah, or man, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of. All right, now it's now it's uh, your favorite uh, Adam Sandler movie. Oh, here's the thing where we make its own tier: Jack and Jill, <laughs> Jack and Jill. Worse, worse than. Now, hold those. on, we got we got to talk about this before you just plop into a tier humanoid. I'm just saying, gotta give worse, every movie its fair chance. It's worse than Dumpster Fire. Like Adam Sandler <laughs> being a twin, getting okay. I admit having Al Pacino play himself is kind of hilarious, and he's like overdoing everything. But the rest of the movie is just, uh, it like there was also a little bit of uh, you know, the gardener dude that is like eventually oh with Jill. I think that guy annoyed uh, me I so think, much. I think he was hilarious. I don't know, like him saying, like, like I kid, I kid. I kid, I kid. <laughs> I used to quote that when that movie came out. <laughs> First time I saw it, it like, was I hilarious. Like, oh, I kid, I kid. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, he was oh, sort of I funny. I loved that. He was sort of funny the first two times, but then he kept on saying it. like, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember uh, the, the funniest time he did it was uh, when he was like, uh oh yeah uh we we go uh we go and play soccer we 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 drink and and we eat and it's like oh that's that's all you do it's like n it's like uh no we don't eat i get it i get it because it's like <laughs> it's yeah, funny but i ain't watching it again because once was enough like oh my god but yeah jack and joe like it's just oh my what was adam Sandler thinking when he was doing this he was thinking that he was uh, Eddie Murphy. Yep. Even that didn't work out for him with Norbit and all that stuff. Um, the next one is Just Go, is it? Uh, have you seen this? No, I have not. i seen it one time. I say it's a dumpster fire because, like, him and Jennifer Aniston, the first time they worked together, and he's trying to, like, get with this uh, hot chick like something something and he says jennifer Aniston is his wife i don't know there's some bullshit going around and he goes like just go with it like pretend you're my wife to get this girl jealous and he brings two kids along oh god mm -hmm. i'm gonna say dumpster yeah. fire because what All the right. fuck <laughs> oh man oh Look what's little next. nikki <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie. You know, the first time I watched this, I laughed my ass off. But I was like a teenager. And I'm getting the flash. Getting the flash. Getting the flash. But then I rewatched it as an adult. This is bad. This is really yeah. bad. So would you would you put it in the the Jack and Jill tier? Could we put in Jack and Jill tier? I mean, I don't see any cops that are telling me that I can't. Like, it's worse than Dumpster Fire? I mean, because look at, look at Dumpster Fire. Like, if you, if you look at any of these, they at least have something going for them. Whereas, like, with Lil Nicky, like, has you, it, 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 it has as much of an annoying character as Jill was. Very true, because it was like... I'm from the south. The deep south. Ah. <laughs> okay. It's been made. Jack and Jill type humor. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So next movie, Men, Women, and Children. Have you seen this? I have not. 
I've never even heard of this one. It came out, hold on, let me look at it. It was recently, uh, no, not recently, 2014. Oh, uh, man. Okay, there's a bunch of actors. Like, Adam Sandler's not the, not the main focus of this. He's one of the main parents. It's about these teenagers that go through things like getting, like, one girl that has problems with, like, eating disorder because she thinks she's supposed to be skinny so she doesn't eat. Another person is fighting with his sexuality. Another person, yeah. like, his mother just died. So, and, like, Adam Sandler, his, I forgot what his kid does, but his, uh, him and his wife are, like, going through some things and like it was pretty good dramatic movie uh, yeah, yeah so would you want to rank it or do you want to put in cameo oh it's not a cameo he had more than one line i would say it's a watchable movie because it has very good acting in it it's like a very easy list top talent on there oh. yeah like he's not in just one scene he's like in many scenes he's just like like I said, not the main focus. Like the teenagers, the kids are the main focus. Their parents are the background stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I, I'm I'm looking at this next one. Mixed I have notes. never heard of this. Why does Why does it look like um, Bill Nye the Science Guy is dressed it's, up in a suit and Santa Claus hat? That's Steve Martin. Uh, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was made in '94. What was this about? I saw this a while back. I don't remember any of it. The event focuses around a crisis hotline business on one crazy night during the Christmas holidays. All I remember is Adam Sandler just having a one, like a ten-second cameo, and that's it. Like him just being a stupid guy, like, oh, I am walking down the hall. I gotta do the mail. Exactly what he was saying. <laughs> like, uh, it sounds little, like he's just playing little Nicky and, and combining him with Whitey. Yeah, that's exactly what he did because he, he's like walking down the hall like, delivering the mail, delivering the mail. Then walks into a mm. door and, never, and we never see him again. All right, so would you want to put in Cameo? Cameo, but the cameo, good, bad, I don't know, yeah. Because it literally was like 10 seconds. Yeah, so uh, what even is this next one, Mr... Mr. Deeds. Oh. Have you never seen Mr. Deeds? Like where... Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> uh, Mr. Deeds, he like, is uh, one of his relatives dies and he's rich, so he gives them his uh, money to his next heir of kin and they find out it's Adam Sandler's character and he's like this guy who lives out in Minnesota somewhere this lovable goof like doesn't want the money it's just really funny John Totoro plays his butler who always shows up and never you never see him actually enter the room he just shows up and yeah. yeah yeah I would say it's watchable because it has it's good moments Wyona Ryder's in it it was funny yeah all right, so murder mystery. Oh I actually God. have seen this one, Same. and the, just... the 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 thing is that like I would have put it in watchable. Actually, I don't even know if I'd put it in meh, like because because okay, so the thing about murder mystery movies is that you have to be able to figure, figure out, out who the yeah figure out who the um the murderer is within the context of the movie yeah the way mm, okay spoilers for murder mystery by adam sandler <laughs> you even <but> brought spoilers. <laughs> yeah, yeah if you if you really care about that movie um you don't you would have watched <laughs> it by don't. now but uh anyways uh the way that they find out is by uh one person i think it's adam sandler he basically figures out that uh like one of the other contestants or one of the other people used to be a porn star that he used to watch and that it's like the same name as something else and that's how he figures it out but the thing is that we're the, never told what? were you watching is, the same movie i was watching <laughs> isn't isn't that what it, what it was well how did they figure out in in this one spoilers for murder mystery <laughs> it was like they figured it out because uh, um, one guy pretending not to speak English the entire time could understand what they're saying, and then all of a sudden he spoke English. At the That's very after. End. Yeah. That's like the last scene of the of the the movie. That's like no, like like he he goes into his phone and he's like, oh, uh, this person used to be a porn star and and uh, 
this was the name and that's the exact name of the bad guy and uh so remember because it was a girl and a guy and the guy was the one that pretended oh, to not, not a, speak, it wasn't speak a, english it wasn't a porno they were just in a room and like these two people came yeah in. yeah yeah like so about... the 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 thing is that we're we're never told this within the movie so the audience is never able to figure it out by themselves yeah like like usually you want the like if you look at clue you want to uh like if you watch that movie again you're you're gonna be able to figure out like oh that makes sense whereas with this one like you can't figure it out because it's something outside of the movie that they fa- that they use to figure out uh like who the murderer is so i don't know if i would put this in meh or dumpster fire i would say i would put it in dumpster fire because i recently watched this and i was like what is this there was like one yeah. or two funny scenes but that was it but like yeah the chic prince annoyed me to no end uh they could have there were some jokes in there they could have they could have done but they never did it yeah oh yeah. uh, what would you say you said meh um we'll, we'll probably just put it in dumpster fire dumpster fire all right yes but now this next one pixels um, i want to ask what your opinion is of pixels hear me out uh-huh. i i kind of enjoyed this movie yes <laughs> I, like, I, I i get it that people bashed it left and right but if you just man's a bad guy <laughs> but if you, it's like yeah sure there's some dumb shit but i like we're like the um the nintendo games from like 84 start coming alive and there's this big battle scene like like yeah there's some stupid shit here and there or what but come on yeah because like, yeah. because for me the 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 like yeah a lot of the action was was sometimes a little dumb or like um there's a dumb line here and there Oh, but and Josh when, Gad. Josh Gad just, but, just ruined it for me. Yeah, but uh, honestly, if if you think about it, like, you know, there's obviously competitive games, and, like, uh, there was even competitive games back then. Yeah. Because uh, if you remember, there was, like, the... the uh, One of those Nintendo tournaments where they un- unveiled super mario world or something like that like yeah yeah, yeah. and the like freaking the power wizard. glove was was freaking yeah, yeah yeah the wizard so essentially uh that happened in real life but anyways yeah um the the thing is that like uh it also like i'm always that kind of person that will look for the patterns yeah and so uh like i always like when when the, the whole thing of the, about this movie is like like stop, stop looking for the patterns. Just feel it. Yeah. I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> like, like, yeah, that's like just that's... exactly what I have to do sometimes. Like, and uh, it was like it was, Josh Gad, it was pretty funny. Like, like Josh Gad annoyed me, and Kevin James at the president. Like, I went like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you you definitely have to have a few beers when you watch this. Yeah, but, but the whole movie, uh, like, like just fighting Nintendo characters. Like, I liked it. Sure, it's like a rip off of like the Futurama episode. And then they made a short video of it, and then they made a movie about it. But hey, yeah. like, just taking out all the stupidity, it's actually watchable. Yeah, I I would put it in watchable because I was I was thinking that you were gonna dislike this movie, and I was gonna fight you tooth and nail to put it in watchable. It's like yeah, no, like I actually enjoyed watching this. Like sure, I agree, there's some dumb shit going on here and there, but if you bad take away man, all that, bad guy. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Like I'm pretty sure, uh, what was that character's name? Like the Cubert. Cubert. I'm pretty sure Cubert's dead. It's like, oh no, please help! It's like, mom. It's like, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or when the dude basically bangs Cubert and gets get, gives off little Cubert babies. Oh, that that was kind of disturbing, but yeah. But Cubert. <laughs> uh, what else? Okay, I couldn't think of anything else. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the guy who made Pac-Man, the actor, Miku, whatever the hell his name is. The inventor of Pac-Man. Oh, yeah, 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 that guy. He's like, come here, my son. I am your father. And he takes <laughs> his hand and he just freaks out and runs away. Yeah, and then and then Adam Sandler says his iconic line, Pac-Man's a bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So have you seen Punch Drunk Love? No, I have not. 
I think it looks interesting was, just from that picture alone. I think this was his first uh, dramatic movie he ever made. Hold on, let me look it up. Because he was a uh, wedding singer. Da, 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 da. Yeah, first ever dramatic movie he ever did in 2002. Uh, I've watched it one time, had like Philip Seymour Hoffman in it, so you know it's good. Uh, the story is. Adam Sandler's character calls a phone sex line to curb his loneliness. Little does he know it will land him in deep trouble with will jeopardize his burgeoning romance with a mysterious person. But yeah, it's very uh, dark because he's like very depressed. Sure, sure, he phones a hotline, but it gets really yeah. dark and really quick. And he's, yeah, but it's good to see like, I'm just saying like it deals a lot with depression. Yeah. Um... I wouldn't say it's classic. I would say it's watchable because of how good Adam Sandler actually did for his first time as a dramatic role because he can actually act. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, freaking contrary to popular belief. Huh? Like he can, it's like, yeah, he can actually act when he wants to try at least. Yeah. All right. The next one is The Wedding Singer. Have you seen this one? Um, I have heard about it, but I never actually watched it. All right, like his first uh, starring, not like his first starring role, like he took a break from making movies for two years after, hold on, what was it? I was remembering what happened to Adam Sandler because he, he was in such a thing. After like Happy Gilmore, he kind of disappeared. Yeah. I'd say two years isn't really a break. It's more just like, like it's like uh, epic rap battles of history took your two years off. It's not. It's not that crazy. But this I'm was a, taking a year off. It's not that crazy. Like, but this was in especially for movies where it has to take about two years. But this was uh, to get so made. Was, this was ninety eight, so they did make a big deal about it because I remember like Entertainment Tonight saying like Adam Sandler's back and he's doing the wedding singers. Like, where you been, Adam? It's like just relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, honestly, that's what I would do. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, so this is where him and Drew Barrymore first start together in a very, cl and that's where the whole uh, chemistry between them started because they, they really are great together. And you just gotta watch My it. My goodness. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. You just need to watch it because everything is great in this movie. It's a classic. You will laugh your ass off. Wait. All right. Is that a, wait? That's rain over me. Never mind. <laughs> what, what am I doing? Yeah, well, okay. Well, wait, you gotta wait. rank that one then. All right, waiting singer. Oh, there well, actually, yeah, yeah. Rank, rank that. Uh, back to classic. I was looking at the wrong right. one. Okay, waiting singer. Yeah, this yeah. one. Yeah. All right. Now, now rank what you what you just uh, touched. Okay, rain over me. His uh, second uh, dramatic movie he did after um, what Punch Drunk Love. Yeah, because yeah. he did a bunch of comedies after this. Yeah. So this one was a really good one. Have you seen this or no? I'm not. Because he plays the uh, widow of a 9-11 victim. This was like, yeah, we're going there. <laughs> it's, a, That's it's crazy. about a 9-11, but it, it's not. It's like about this man whose wife was in the towers when the 9 when the planes crashed, and he like lost yeah, his mind. Yeah, it's crazy that like if you remember that era of movies. Like yeah. everyone was like, like completely scrubbing any references to the Twin Towers, like at all. Yeah. Because, uh, like Spider Man, oh, had yeah. a commercial where like, the Twin uh, Towers. like he was on the Twin Towers, and then uh, they just like got rid of that scene in the movie. Uh, yeah. I know there was like two or three other movies that did the exact same thing, but Adam Sandler's like, nope, I'm gonna be the one to make a movie about it. Yeah. And he did a great like job. Everyone's of running the other way. Everyone's running the other way, and he's running towards it, just Yo. like the firefighters. Firefight! Oh my god! <laughs> right. 2007, he made this movie. Yeah. So yeah, his wife dies in the towers, and he becomes incredibly depressed. And like, Don Cheadle's in this, and he wants to help him out, like help him out because like, like lonely, and you just need to watch it. It's really good yeah like 
So I would say watchable. I don't know how I got this confused with Wedding Singer because look at this. <laughs> Literally nothing alike. <laughs> like happy face, goofy face, seriousness. <laughs> uh, One's about weddings, the other's about <laughs> divorce. Not Just divorce. Kidding. How do you get divorced well, when being get... a widow? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was kind of making an analogy of the Twin Towers divorcing, right, but... Right, right, Next movie, Sandy Wexler. McLean. I have not seen this. Neither have I, and I refuse to, because it just looks bad. <laughs> and the voice he puts on... It looks like it has some kind of style, just from the picture. I've seen the, like, I seen the trailer, like, his voice, he does the whitey voice the time, he's like, Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, i never seen it, but eventually I will. Okay. Shakes the Clown. Sure. He's does a cameo in this. i never seen this. Neither have okay. I. Yeah. Never seen it, but do you want to see it? Not really. No. Shakes the Clown. All right. Spanglish. Have you seen this one? No, I have not. It's another Adam Sandler uh, dramatic movie where he actually tries. Yeah. What was this movie about? I remember watching it, but I know nothing. A woman and her daughter immigrate from Mexico for a better life in America, where he started working for a family where the patriarch is a newly celebrated chef with an insecure wife. That explains nothing. Yeah. I don't remember any of it, but I remember I liked it. Uh, yeah, now that I'm looking at the whole list here, at the bottom, I have not seen any of them except for... Um, wait, is that the Water Boy? Yeah. Wait a minute, is the Water Boy even in here? Yeah, the Water Boy is here. Where? Right. Oh, it's right there, okay. Yeah, oh, I was about to say, like, did you just skip over? <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, I've only seen, uh, that one with Rob Schneider where he, like, changes from, like, like, bodies with a girl. Yeah. Um, I've seen Waterboy, and I've seen, uh, that Kevin James video, at, er, uh, the movie right. at the bottom. Alright, I would say May with Spanglish, because I enjoyed it, but I don't remember any of him, so... I don't know if I'm down to watch it again. Okay. Uh, that's my boy. It was Adam Sandberg. Have you seen that one? Oh, what did I just tell you, human? You know, I have not <laughs> watched any of these. Yeah, just double checking. Just double checking. Um, <laughs> I would say also meh. Because usually this was the first time Adam Sandler actually didn't play a rich asshole. Because he's been playing rich assholes this entire time. Yeah. Now, he just plays a regular dude, which I like because it was refreshing, but it's still meh. Mm -hmm. The Animal yeah. with Rob Schneider. Uh, this was the funniest Adam Sandler cameo ever. It's like, you can do it. You stealing, can do it. Basically stealing Rob Schneider's line from the water boy and him doing it here. <laughs> but uh, the animal itself, meh. Or are we just doing cameos? Wait, hold on. Cameo, good, bad. I would say it's good because it's the funniest one he did. Okay. The cobbler, he plays a cobbler, but for some reason they're magical. I can only shoes. imagine. They're magical shoes <laughs> that make him whatever shoes he wears he becomes a person that wears the shoes. This, this sounds like another click. <laughs> I guess. Like he figures out that the because these people died in her shoes and like his father comes back, Dustin Hoffman's in it, Steve Buscemi is in it. Um, for a, a very interesting storyline, but it's kind of weird, I would say, meh. All right. The, the do-over, oh God, dumpster fire. I, it, I saw it once, never again. <laughs> uh. Oh God, just, just don't watch it. The hot chick. Uh, he has a cameo I in it. I have watched it. Yeah, he has a cameo I, in it. I don't, I don't know where I would put this. Uh, but he has a cameo in it. Basically, is what I'm saying. Cause he, uh, yeah, he did like the reggae guy in the shops. Like 
you know what you do with this thing? You put your weed in there. You put your weed in <laughs> this. Basically doing Rob Schneider's line from Saturday Night Live sketch. Yeah. Cameo, good, bad. What did you think of his cameo? Did you like it? I mean, I mean, it was okay. Yeah, I enjoyed it because I knew the joke. I understood the joke. Yeah. Okay. I don't watch much uh, Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Uh, the Longest Yard. Remake of a 1970s film, which I only saw 10 minutes of it, and I just turned it off because I go like, I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> so, Dumpster Fire or Jack and Jill? No, I'm saying the original. I like this version. Oh, the original, okay. I tried watching the original, and I go like, I can't watch this. This is just bad. Burt Reynolds, bad. Yeah. But Adam Sandler made it work because there's a lot of good actors in this. Um, Stone Cold, Kevin Nash, Goldberg, Terry Crews, Cheeseburger Eddie. <laughs> Just because of Cheeseburger Eddie, I'm going to say it's a classic. You need to see that. Okay. Yeah. All right. The Meyerowitz Stories, I have not seen this yet. Me neither. But I want to because it looks actually good. Cause it's a serious movie ridiculous six fuck this wait no jack and jill fuck this movie I can't believe you watched like most of these adam sandler movies i've like only watched like like 10 or 12 of these <laughs> but we're doing something with it never watch a ridiculous six it's fucking ridiculous i can uh, only imagine okay the water boy water boy oh man See, the thing is that, like, it teeters on that so bad that it's good, but, like, you can't even put it in meh, because, like, when you when you say meh, you're kind of thinking about, like, you know, bedtime stories where you have almost nothing to say, but you have a lot to say about Waterboy. Now, where would you put it? <laughs> um, here's the thing. When it first came out, I liked it. I rewatched it plenty of times as a kid. Then there was a couple of years where I just uh, forgot about this movie. And I saw this movie three years ago, just to see how, how it was. I was in so much pain, man. I could do it not laugh once. I was like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is so dumb. Yeah, like, I guess I haven't rewatched it recently either. I guess we can put it in dumpster fire just yeah because i'm looking just at just to it, send it off to yeah. its its natural habitat because i was looking at this as my in my kid eyes and then as an adult like rewatching it's like it's not good at all okay. yeah okay the week of i seen this really great like adam sandler's daughter is marrying chris's rock son and again trying to get the wedding together and it's really funny it's like yeah like, funny drama movie like the best scene in this movie is like when chris rock's uh fi family comes on over to spend the night and the next day they're up eating breakfast and like adam sandler's walking around saying hi to the family then he's walking outside like on a phone call and he sees two random black guys walk by he goes like hey come on in your family's here and brings in two random black dudes <laughs> and the family's even saying like they're like looking at each other, like who the fuck are these people like just go with it. <laughs> it's I w just so funny. And he, they invite him to the wedding because they got to know him. Yeah. Uh, uh, watchable. Yeah, the watchable. Okay. Dog police. Don't know what this is about. It's something about a dog and a police. He did a cameo. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> Top five, Chris Rock movie, Tracy Morgan movie, does a cameo, no idea, never seen it, I don't know. What the hell is this? I, hold on. See, because the, the title is cut off. Is that Uncut Gems? Oh, Uncut Gems, yeah. Uncut Gems. Um, I think people usually would put that in classic. But I don't know. But have you I didn't seen, watch it. I never seen it. I need to see it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get some hate, but I haven't seen this movie yet. <laughs> even Damn. though, even though I have goddamn punch drunk love up there, and rain over me, <laughs> and funny people. 
I haven't yeah. I haven't seen Uncut Gems yet. You don't mess with the Zohan. This is like parody spoof stuff. It's hilarious because they just go overboard with everything. You don't know what the hell's going on in there. Please. Yeah. It's just like a spoof of everything. So I say it's watchable. And All Zookeeper. Right. You said you saw Zookeeper. I never seen Zookeeper. Uh yeah. Um it was it was it was like if if we're ranking it, it's watchable. The only thing is that I don't remember I don't remember Adam Sandler being in it at all. Like I do know that the animals talk, so he's probably one of the animals' voices. Uh let's see what he but, is. Zookeeper. Yeah. Come on, Zookeeper. Donald the monkey. Yeah. He played a monkey. He did the voice of a monkey. So how good was his cameo? <laughs> I mean, I don't remember anything about the monkey. Uh, I mean, wait, hold on. Is he a monkey or is he a gorilla? Because there's a big difference uh, it's, on it's, how it's, much. It just says Donald the monkey. Okay, he's probably just the small little monkey, which, like, I guess, I guess, I, I mean, you remember Night at the Museum? Yeah. It's as important as that monkey. Like, it's 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 like you remember the fact that there's a monkey. But he only has like one or two scenes, so it's like it's not really a character. You don't know for his cameo. I I mean, it's it's good, but it's not it's not great. Okay. It doesn't make or break the movie. All right, so let's. That's pretty much it. We have like let's see for classics, Fifty First Dates, Big Daddy, uh, Billy Madison, Dirty Work, Happy Gilmore, Wedding Singer, and Longest Yard. Everyone else seems all right, like Jack and Jill, Jack and Jill, Little Nicky, and Ridiculous Six. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, when when everyone says like Adam Sandler is just so horrible, uh, like I don't know, like it, it doesn't doesn't look that way. Yeah. It's then again, we haven't seen uh like the the bottom ten movies, but like I'm pretty sure they wouldn't sway the entire freaking. Uh, I'm pretty sure going over, to one side. I'm pretty sure going overboard in Hubie Halloween will still go into dumpster fire if we've seen it or Sandy yeah. Wexler. But the yeah. Meyerowitz story and Uncut Gems would definitely be a watchable or classic if I actually seen it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, what are your thoughts? What are your closing thoughts? Batman's a bad guy. Alright. So is that we're ending it with a tier list? Like we'll come back another time with a different tier list if we haven't killed each other already. <laughs> Line. Hello. But anyways, uh, you're you're cutting out for me. Yeah, like saying like we'll come back with another uh, tier list later on if we haven't killed each other for each other yet. Down the road, down the road again. Pac-Man, the bad guy. But anyway, that's it for now. Human Nation, we're off. And suspect, say goodbye. And he's cutting out. He needs better internet. Bye, guys. Bye.